Hello, I'm Landy, the mascot of LX. We're going to talk about how to inspect and adjust the surveying equipment. Well, let's have a look how to make an inspection for the total station. To enhance the accuracy of surveying, we need to check three parts of the total station. The pivot, air bubble, and angle. How to check the pivotal status. Checking the pivotal status means to check if the reference point and the pivot point correspond with each other when setting up total station on the reference point. After checking the pivot, we need to see if the pivot and the reference point remain overlapped when turned by 180 degrees from the point of standing. You may adjust the pivot scope by disassembling the cogwheel by turning it counterclockwise and adjusting the four screws located on the top, bottom, left, and right. When adjusting the pivot scope, loosen the screw on the opposite side of your desired direction first. Then loosen or tighten the screw based on your desired direction. For each adjustment, the pivot movement distance should be adjusted by one half the distance between the cross line and the pivot point. Then, turn the device by 180 degrees and set the pivot with the leveling screw. Repeat this process to gradually move the pivot to the reference point which will make the pivot point match the reference point at any angle. The second inspection process is about how to adjust the air bubble. There are two types of air bubbles, the circular one on the leveling head and the bar-shaped one on the device. Adjust the leveling head to locate the air bubble in the center. Then, turn total station by 180 degrees and insert the hairpin inside the horizontal bubble adjustment screw to adjust it to the left or right side. Each time, adjust it by one half the distance. Then, turn the device by 180 degrees to the original position and set the pivot point using the leveling screw. Repeat this process to move the bubble to the center of the bar. Now let's talk about the circular air bubble. The circular air bubble is for a brief reference in order to quickly install the device. The leveling head and total station can be separated when you loosen the fixing screw on the leveling head after setting the bar air bubble. If the circular air bubble does not locate in the center, you need to adjust it. To adjust the circular bubble, Insert the hairpin into one of the three adjustment screws located on the lower part of the device and move the pin to locate the bubble in the center. The electronic air bubble displays X and Y axes on the screen, so you can conveniently adjust the air bubble location without turning the device. First, locate the electronic air bubble using the leveling head adjustment screw. Then, turn the device body by turning it by 180 degrees to see if an adjustment is necessary. When it shows larger than 30 degrees discrepancy on either one of X or Y axis, an adjustment is needed. Finally, 
let's talk about the angle inspection. For the angle inspection, you need a cross-shaped target at a height similar to that of the device at a distance of 5 to 6 meters. For the angle inspection, accurately collimate the cross-shaped target using total station after adjusting the bar air bubble. When the collimation is finished, the vertical angle and horizontal angle will show up on the screen. Press zero setting button for the horizontal angle and record the vertical angle information on a separate note. Next, reverse the device by 180 degrees and collimate the cross-shaped target. If the device is accurately located, the horizontal angle should be 180 degrees and the sum of the current vertical angle and the vertical angle you recorded previously should be 360 degrees. Leading the fourth industrial revolution, the LX will provide people-oriented national land information services for the era of smart land. And we will expand our stage beyond Korea to become a global national land information agency. We hope you will support us with expectation and affection for the better development and growth of this company. Thank you.